just behind me, this is the Little Mermaid, the top site in Copenhagen. And just after that, you can see this is the arena from the Eurovision Song Contest 2014. It's called B and W Hallerne. The 59th Eurovision Song Contest from Copenhagen, Denmark, will take place here in this arena. Well, it doesn't look like a real arena, it's a kind of ship creation uh, and a shipwreck uh, industrial area here. And actually this is an island just before uh, Copenhagen and they want to uh, really name it like a Eurovision island because a lot of things will happen here as well. There are also other buildings. Um, well, you can see really the silent before the storm, almost like the Dutch entry, which is called silence after the storm. Um, well, in two weeks there will be very um, high density of, of schedules from in interviews to uh, press conferences. Singers will come and sing and uh, we will follow this everything to bring you the latest information around this top event in Europe, uh, which uh, really is very exciting for all of us. And you can see the Danes playing volleyball here. It has not started yet. The sun is shining and I think this is a very good atmosphere here in Copenhagen. On our tour through Copenhagen, we arrived at the Rundtorn. Uh, it's a 35 meters high building which offers a delicious view over the city of Copenhagen. It used to be an observatory to watch the stars over Copenhagen. And you also see the beautiful scenery over Copenhagen here, mainly dominated by the town hall tower, the red one next to the Tivoli, which is one of the oldest amusement parks in the world, very old-fashioned, very cool in a way, and very cozy, hügelig as the Danish say. And uh, yes, it, it's very close to the railway station uh, and the longest pedestrian street of the world, which is called Stroget. The beautiful weather is, of course, another plus here in the city. It's just beautiful to see the city from above with the sunshine and you can also see the harbor and the water, this is the sea, the Öresund and of course there's the Öresund bridge which connects Denmark with Sweden and you can see of course Malmö on the other side, last year's Eurovision uh, host city. Um, it was a beautiful contest as well and uh, we all remember very well and this is absolutely incredible that only 14 kilometers from Malmö Copenhagen, as the capital of Denmark, is hosting the next Eurovision Song Contest and you can see on just a little bit over there that this is 
this ship building hall called B and W Harlande in Refshöllen and uh, well it's already covered with the logo join us well it's uh, a striking building and you cannot miss it when you walk through Copenhagen these days the streets are covered with banners and uh, well it's it's uh, very close to Malmö as you see and uh, guess what we also see Remember, 13 years ago, Copenhagen already hosted the Eurovision Song Contest in 2001. And it was the Parken Stadium, the big football stadium in Copenhagen, which was covered by a roof. At that time, it was the biggest arena where Eurovision Song Contest took place. Um, yeah, very interesting view from here. We like it very much. And, uh, well, it shows a lovely view over Copenhagen. We hope that you enjoyed this as well. This is our first impression of Copenhagen, Denmark, the host city of the Eurovision Song Contest 2014.